Hey folks, so I'm going to transplant this banana plant into a much bigger pot and then I am going to hopefully separate the smaller ones and plant them back in that pot. So I have a bag of soil and I'm going to set it off to the side and as you can see the height of the pot I'm going to put a layer of soil in the bottom to match that height. And you want a um, rich, loamy soil that drains well. And I have two kinds of soil in this bag. One that was on there and the other that I had in the smaller bag from the Dollar Tree. So all these large chunks are from the Dollar Tree. It's more like a mulchy type of soil. But I kind of like that soil from the Dollar Tree. It seems to be... Um, a good kind because it has a lot of humus which is something that the bananas will like but I'm putting enough on here to where when I set that down it's going to be okay now, somewhere on here there's a green lizard unless it's already ran away from the banana plant but they feel camouflaged and as you can see over here lots of pups growing I'm gonna see if I can separate this plant easily which I can't but it is dripping water sometimes when you have plants especially banana plants and I've seen that with pothoses and other plants in the morning after you water you'll see water droplets at the tip of the leaves that's typically normal to plants and it's something called guttation I just learned that term as I was researching bananas for my video on my that I on the profile and propagation of the bananas but this is really dripping water wow anyway this is going to be tricky trying to get this out especially since as you can see the roots are sticking underneath but that lizard got out and it's now hopping along on another pot down oh it's on another plant now so sometimes when you're trying to get a plant out you see how you push from the base if you can see on the corner and that will help it lift up so look at all these roots so now I have this pot and I can actually take any soil from there move it there but the thing about the bananas is once the banana plant produces fruit, that stalk dies and then the new ones take over. But apparently I should have put a little more soil before moving it. It wasn't um, deep enough. So I can just dump soil around. And then I'm going to show you a secret. Then I can just raise this up a little and it's sitting a little higher. But I have a couple plants that are large enough to separate from the mother plant if I can. But these roots are so stuck together it might be difficult. But I'm not able to. Wow. People usually in plantations will carry a machete and hack away. I think I'm just going to leave these on there for now. I have just a nice big full banana plant or a whole banana plantation in one pot. But this pot here I think is a seven gallon and this banana is a miniature dwarf cavendish so it stays no more than two or three feet tall. So it's a really good variety to have if you want to grow your own miniature dwarf Cavendish bananas and you don't have a lot of space for a bigger plant. And you need to keep it in a pot because you don't have the space indoors for it and you don't live in a climate 
where you can keep them outdoors. But this plant is really well, the roots are really well established, so it, it's interesting. But at least it will be happy in the bigger pot where the roots can expand and grow more. And, and yeah, so this is transplanting my banana plant. So once I finish putting all the soil and spreading it around, I'm going to be able to water it to make sure it is well watered and so that and also the soil will start to settle a little better and then the roots can have their new domain to take over but spreading it around See if I can break a piece of banana piece. And I did, but I did get a root. I'll probably plant this and see if it will survive. I'm going to, uh, these won't, those pups are too small, but I'm going to leave them attached just in case. So here I have this one potted. I can now switch these over. And hope that one will survive with that single solitary root. If it does, that would be sweet. So I'm gonna just dump the soil in this pot. And there isn't much left in this bag. I can actually put the whole thing in there. So I'm going to do that quickly. And there we go. Now this root, I don't want to damage it and end up killing the plant. So I'm going to have to be careful with the way I bury that. There we go. Now I'll have to water these really well. And that's me potting, repotting a banana plant. So this is the second time I've repotted this. And hopefully I'll have a new plantlet here that I could give to someone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and inspired to grow your own banana plants. Thanks for watching and happy planting.